Welcome to the countdown to kickoff brought to you by Uber One. Two teams looking for their first win of the season. The New Jersey Generals and the Pittsburgh Maulers in Canton, Ohio. We have the Generals as the favorites and the deep. And this is Marcus Green, a guy they said is all speed with the football to begin. Out across the 40, he goes to the 47-yard line. He's tackled by Tyson Graham. That is DeAndre Johnson to start the game. Guy runs 4-3-7, swings it out. Great Bowman, and Bowman goes vertical on the first play from scrimmage in the Maulers' territory. Ready, go! Fake it to Victor, and to the air they go, and this pass is caught on a slant route by Alonzo Moore out of Nebraska. Go! Johnson. Under pressure goes a dangerous pass. Just lucky to see that ball hit the ground. That was Ruben Foster had his hands on it. Up Wake, he is one for one on the season. Hit last week against Birmingham. And Skiba is good. That is a name. So Nick Skiba sent it deep and Isaiah Henney back deep. And he had an 82-yard punt return for a touchdown a week ago. He is electric out across the 40. Team tackles, two tackles for loss last week alone. Right up the middle here, and that first down is going to be picked up on the ground. So 180, wait a second. Second and seven, Morgan hit right as he dropped back to pass. Never saw him coming, it's Bryson Young off the edge. Ready, go! Johnson scans, he's protected well. This pass is complete to the outside. It's Cameron Eccles Looper with the catch. Make it to Kingston Davis. Now Johnson, he's going to run, show off that speed, pick up that first down depending on the spot. They're going to say that knee came down just before. Ready, go! On go. fourth and one, they will run the football again. There is not much space there for Kingston Davis, who is awfully close. Both teams are saying it's our football, and it all comes down to the spot. Ready, go! Johnson protected much better here. Gets it out to the outside, and that pass is caught by his running back. That's Kingston Davis. Oh, stays in the game. The ball oh, came out, though. As Davis was fighting for extra yards, he lost the football, and now the ball is dive on top of it. So after a very close fourth and one, Pittsburgh said, forget about it. We want the ball anyway. There's the first hit. There's the second hit. Football out. Tizino got that ball loose. And touch at the edge, and there was Shalom Luani who came up with that tackle in space. Back to Henny. This time Henny on a crossing route, stays in bounds, cuts it back up inside before giving himself up with four generals around him. Here we go. Philadelphia Eagles formation. They're going to push right there behind. They've got the fullback behind James Morgan. That's Mason Stoke on the push. Here we go. Right back on the ball. Same play. Right back up the middle. And Morgan this time. Did he get enough of a push? Toby Johnson and company say no. Shalom Luani was there. Chris Orr was there. Dwan Hines was there. And the generals think they stumped them and they did. We got a quarterback change bringing Dakota Prukop here, and he is on the roll. His first snap deep in his own end zone. He takes off running, brings it out to the 10. That's a big scramble there just to get out of that shadow of the goal. Prukop, the guy who started his career as a safety and then transitioned to quarterback. This time hands it off. It's Darius Victor for rebounds. I guess they like that. <laughs> Here's Prukop. Prukop fires down the seam, and this time is it intercepted? No. It was dropped. That was Tarpley. Trey Tarpley. Luani! Right Third and five for Williams. Williams flushed. Now trying to make a move. Able to. Shalom Luani whiffed on the tackle. He's close to that line to gain. They mark him right at that line. Are they going to give him the first down? More pressure coming. Picked up again. And then finally gets through, and Williams escapes initially. He is brought down after a loss of one. Williams drops. Williams fires, going back to the favorite target. And once again, Isaiah Haney makes the play. Picks up that first down. This is going to be a run to the left. At least that's what it sounds like, Jack. This is a run. Here goes Henny again. First Hall of Fame game every year, so they're ready for big-time TV broadcast. Pressure here. 
and down goes Williams. Nowhere to escape. He was holding on to that football forever, and Kenneth Randall eventually got there. He hit from 37 a week ago. This is going to be 10 yards deeper, and Herlehyde drilled it. We got a tie ball game. Into next week, because he'll be gone. <laughs> what is the plan if it happened today, like right now? Uh, thankfully, the hospital is very close, so that. Williams takes his time and fires. He's looking for his running back, Madre London. That is broken up. It was Mike Bell in coverage. Ready, go! Johnson down the seam, has his tight end back to Bowman, and Bowman takes it inside of Mahler's territory. Inside. Johnson drops. He wants it all here. He's firing it deep down towards the end zone. Got a flag to flew as Jamon Moore came up with it. The last minute. See my guy. Can you go on offensive? Still first down. See, watch right at the last minute. See that little yep. push right before the ball got there. So here's Brock Miller on to punt. And anything successful, as long as Henny doesn't get his hands on it, you'll take that. There you go. Take the knee, take it into half. It's a 3-3 game at the break. Here's Williams. Steps up in the pocket. Williams trying to get the football out to the outside to Henny. Henny says he was held. Lag comes out. That's Devon Askew Henry, who is in coverage. They're playing a follow technique. Pass interference, number seven, defense. Ball he plays the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. I think they got him for the little hook of the arm on the inside. 37. This is a low liner. That never, I'm not sure that ever got above the goal post. Wow. and tell the whole group get it together before a third and 15. This is Eccles Looper. Eccles Looper on a little mesh route. Takes it inside the 30, which will give them the opportunity to go for this if they want to. It's Drew's taken back off the field from 47. It's a green light. Right down the middle. And from 47, it's right down the middle. Skiba's got something to him. To cover Troy Williams' legs. Has a completion to the outside. That's Josh Simmons, who is going to be a yard short. Yes, the coach yes, said, catch yes. the ball. Coach said we had our opportunity. The penalty marker's out. This punt goes down to the 16-yard line. It's Cam Eccles Looper who dives to make the catch of that punt. And Illegal substitution, 12 on the field. Defense, the five-yard penalty results in the first down. How about that? Empty look, Williams immediately under pressure, and Williams goes down. Nowhere for him to escape. That was Chris Orr, who was immediately in the backfield. Now third and 16. Williams, pressure in his face again. He's hit and gets the football away. It has a completion down to the 32-yard line. Good job. And this snap goes right past the holder. Now Herlehy, he's going to pick it up. He's on the run, and he is brought down. There's nowhere for him to escape to. Out to the 42, it's Christian Tut. Ready, go! Here's Pukop. Pukop fires, has a wide receiver that's wide open. It's Cam Eccles Looper. Puts that foot in the ground, takes it inside the 30. Eccles. Ready, go! Prukop fakes to the outside, swings it. Oh. Cam Eccles Looper with the lane and lay it out for the end zone. Touchdown. We finally get a touchdown. The Generals, the first score of the day into the end zone. You're going to see him hesitate here, okay? You can see Prukop hesitate, like almost waiting. I thought this play was going to be stopped. But when the ball released his hands and then Cam Eccles, Loop, Eccles, Eccles Looper got the football, and then you see the block from the outside. He is that? Morgan tries to get it to Madre London. That is Hercules Mataafa, who just about had a touchdown on the reception. Was that pass backwards? That's the question. They're going to call it an incomplete pass. So the, the 
it is a backward pass, and now we just have to look to see if 93 recovers it in the immediate action afterwards, which he does. So we are going to actually reverse this and call it a rule it incomplete. He actually gets the ball at the spot of the recovery, which is the one-yard line. So blue oh, cut back on the field blue. from the one. Give it to Victor and Victor into the end zone, no problem. Maybe take that ball over to Hercules and let him spike it. That's what I would do. That that's inside. And Darius Victor, I mean, it, he almost was gonna walk in. I mean, wait, eighty, wait, son. Morgan firing into double coverage, and this pass is picked. It's intercepted by Paris Ford. Generals, they're, they're secondary. You have a big hit on the quarterback, and that pressure leads to a big interception in the secondary. And quarterbacks were the hardest positions to find, and something they're still trying to work to is Victor up the middle, little sidestep, big corner on the outside. Morgan. Has time here, plenty of time, and taking that time, and now as a completion to his running back, it's Madre London out across the 45-yard line. That's Set. and provides a target. Morgan trying to make something happen, lost the football, yeah. ball's out, ball's still loose, it's recovered by the Generals. It's Hercules Mata'afa who dove on it at the conclusion, and it was Tyshawn Render who got the football out, so Hercules, he's been around the ball this entire second half. They're all over this Pittsburgh Maulers offensive, offensive line and quarterback, for that matter, again, Almost every rusher gets to the quarterback, He's, and they have a suffocating defense. So, the Stallions Victor have to right up the middle. You got to tackle that guy, extending that football out. Ready, go. And, and the generals feel like a team, also. That. Okay. It,